My dear brothers and sisters, a hearty welcome to each one of you for this Holy Eucharist of Love. My dear friends, we pray for your intentions at this time during this Holy Mass. We humbly request you to subscribe to our channel, to share the link with others, and do support our channel by your prayers and your love offerings. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear friends, let us look into our lives and see how we have been connected with God and with one another. Have we at any time failed? Have we at any time sinned? Remember all those times and ask the Lord's pardon and mercy, for the Lord is merciful and compassionate. With a contrite heart, let us confess together. I confess to, to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers and my sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what have I done, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. And therefore I ask, bless Mary, a virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers, my sisters, to pray for me to Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. May the venerable exercises of holy devotion Shape the hearts of your faithful, O Lord, to welcome worthily the Paschal mystery and proclaim the praises of your salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus, chapter 32 verses 7 to 14. Moses pleads with the Lord his God to spare Israel. The Lord spoke to Moses, Go down now, because your people whom you brought out of Egypt have apostated. They have been quick to leave the way I marked out for them. They have made themselves 
a calf of molten metal and have worshipped it and offered it sacrifice. Here is your God Israel. They have cried, who brought you out from the land of Egypt. The Lord said to Moses, I can see how headstrong these people are. Leave me, now my wrath shall blaze out against them and devour them. Of you, however, I will make a great nation. But Moses pleaded with the Lord his God. Lord, he said, Why should your wrath blaze out against this people of yours, whom you brought out of Egypt with arm stretched out and mighty hand? Why let the Egyptians say, Ha! It was in treachery that he brought them out to do them to death in the mountains and wipe them off the face of the earth. Leave your burning wrath, relent, and do not bring this disaster on your people. Remember Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, your servants, to whom by your own self you swore and made this promise. I will make your offsprings as many as the stars of heaven. And all this land which I promised, I will give to your descendants, and it shall be their heritage forever. So the Lord relented and did not bring on his people the disaster he had threatened. The Word of the Lord Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm O Lord, remember me out of the love you have for your people. O Lord, remember me out of the love you have for your people. They fashioned a calf at Horeb and worshipped an image of metal, exchanging the God who was their glory for the image of a bull that eats grass. Response O Lord, remember me out of the love you have for your people. They forgot the God who was their Saviour, who had done such great things in Egypt, such portents in the hands of Ham, such marvels at the Red Sea. Response O Lord, remember me out of the love you have for your people. For this he said he would destroy them. But Moses, the man he had chosen, stood in the breach before him to turn back his anger from destruction. Response O Lord, remember me out of the love you have for your people. Gospel Acclamation Glory to you, O Christ, you are the Word of God. Your words are spirit, Lord, and they are life. You have the message of eternal life. Glory to you, O Christ, you are the word of God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O God. Chapter 5, verses 31 to 47. Jesus said to the Jews, Were I to testify on my own behalf, my testimony would not be valid. But there is another witness who can speak on my behalf, and I know that his testimony is valid. You sent messengers to John, and he gave his testimony to the truth. Not that I depend on human testimony. No, it is for your salvation that I speak of this. John was a lamp, a light and shining. And for a time you were content to enjoy the light that he gave. But my testimony is greater than John's. 
the works my father has given me to carry out these same works of mine testify that the father has sent me besides the father who sent me bears witness to me himself you have never heard his voice you have never seen his shape and his word finds no home in you because you do not believe in the one he has sent you study the scriptures believing that in them you have eternal life now these same scriptures testify to me and yet you refuse to come to me for life as for human approval this means nothing to me besides i know you too well you have no love of god in you i have come in the name of my father and you refuse to accept me if someone else comes in his own name you will accept him how can you believe since you look to one another for approval and are not concerned with the approval that comes from the one god do not imagine that i am going to accuse you before the father you place your hopes on moses and moses will be your accuser if you really believed him you would believe me too since it was i that he was writing about and if you refuse to believe what he wrote how can you believe what i say the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ dear brothers and sisters god has given us everything in life He has even given us the image that he possesses and we live in his image and likeness and he expects that we should worship him day in and day out but in the whole salvation history at one time god is upset with the people of israel in spite of doing such wonderful deeds works of salvation redeeming and accompanying them they have chosen to worship other gods and they made a calf with a molten metal and they began to worship as their savior and redeemer at that time god is upset and tells moses go and see what your people have done the people whom i have chosen to redeem moses comes down to see and god says my wrath will come upon them moses pleads to god saying do not allow your wrath to come upon them i will convince them just give another chance for them to return and moses burns the calf and makes them to drink that water for their repentance dear brothers and sisters In the gospel reading today in John chapter 5 we see how Jesus is convincing the people that he cannot testify on his behalf but there is someone a messenger who is there to testify on my behalf that is John the Baptist but you read scriptures and you believe to have these testimonies with you 
but you do not believe in the Son of God, the Father has sent. You tend to believe in Moses, but do not believe in the truth that he has spoken. In our day-to-day -day lives, we speak a lot about God. We try to rely on God's wonders and his deeds. But many a times we forget to believe in the Son of God, Jesus, who is here our Redeemer and Savior. The people of his time do not want to believe in Jesus and his testimony, but want to believe in the testimony of approval from one another. If God himself comes down on this earth and tells us that he is come to redeem us by his mission of healing, by his mission of preaching, and finally taking up the cross and dying for all of us. My dear brothers and sisters, the season of Lent invites us to believe in the scriptures and to act it out for God to accept his redemption and salvation towards each one of us. And ask our dear Lord to take away all the filth, dirt, and sinful life that we have in us, that we may be purified during this time of Lent and recognize Jesus as the Son of God who is sent by the Father himself. Amen. Yours as we stand at the table you set Yours as we eat the bread our hearts can't forget We are the signs of your life with us yet We are yours, we are yours Take our bread, we ask you take our hearts We love you, take our lives Oh Father, we are yours Pray, my brothers, my sisters, that this sacrifice of ours may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the praise of your people, along with these sacrificial offerings, and defend those who celebrate your mysteries from every kind of danger. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks to our Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks. Humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise. We acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. 
Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Derek, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, we send Joseph a spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we all dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as you await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church. Graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other this loving sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold you who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. May this sacrament we have received purify us, we pray, O Lord, and grant your servants freedom from all blame, that those bound by a guilty conscience may glory in the fullness of heavenly remedy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. My dear friends, wishing you a very joyful and blessed day with your family and friends. Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Were you there? Stop.